All right, it's a it's a woman's turn. All this young lady right here, right here. It's nice to see you. <laughs> I'll, I'll be happy to give you an autograph. Go ahead. When you are elected, what would you like to achieve? What is your wish list for the first thousand days in office? First thousand days. Let me do my math real quick. That's first three years. Um, here, here's what I'd like to do. And obviously, circumstances uh, always change, right? A president comes into office, they're expecting. I'm going to do X, Y, Z, and suddenly you get thrown with, with uh, you know, an entirely different set of problems that you didn't anticipate. So uh, we especially don't know where the economy is going to be when I first come into office. But I can tell you what my highest priorities are. Number one is the priority that we've been talking about today. I want to have a energy package that is comprehensive and it sets us on a path of energy independence. We're not going to achieve every goal in the first year or even in the first three years, but I want to get us on a trajectory where we are freeing ourselves of our dependence on foreign oil, we are getting serious about the issue of climate change, we are strengthening our economy. All right, so that's step number one. Step number two, health care. Now is the time for us to fix this health care system. Gas prices have been so so high that I think people have forgotten the underlying pressures that people are feeling because of health care. But they're there, and we've got to take those seriously. And this is a huge cost, by the way, not just for families, but for businesses. It's making our businesses less competitive. So that's the second thing. The third thing is I believe that we have to begin a responsible withdrawal from Iraq, turning over power to the Iraqi government. That's... And that... And that will allow us... That will allow us to, first of all, provide some relief to military families that have been on just an extraordinary burden uh, with, with three or four rotations. And, and our troops have performed heroically. But but it, it gives them some relief. It allows us to reset our military that's been stretched very thin. It allows us to bolster our efforts in Afghanistan, where bin Laden is still sending out audio tapes, to hunt down those terrorist networks. And, by the way, it allows us to take some of the 10 to $12 billion a month that we are spending in Iraq to start spending it right here in the United States, providing us some economic relief. So, now, now th those aren't my only priorities. I mean, I want to have my Attorney General uh, review every executive order that George Bush has issued to make sure that we are obeying our Constitution and due process. Uh, I, want, I want to get serious about a comprehensive immigration bill where we've got strong border security, we're cracking down on employers that are hiring undocumented workers to take advantage of them, and we're getting those undocumented workers out of the shadows and giving them a pathway to citizenship. I want... I want to change No Child Left Behind so the money's not left behind. And that... And that we've, des we've designed assessment tools that maintain very high standards, but don't force teachers to teach to the test. I want to make college more affordable. I want to make college more affordable with the $4,000 tuition credit that I talked about. Uh, every student, every year, in exchange for some form of community service, whether it's uh, uh, working for the Peace Corps or working in an underserved school or an underserved hospital, so, uh, and I want to double our investment in science and research, basic research, around things like stem cell re research that we should have done long ago.
so I've got so I've got all kinds of plans. But if in those first three years we have a serious energy policy, we have fixed our health care system, and we have taken our combat troops out of Iraq. Uh, and put our economy back on track. I think that'd, that'd be pretty good work. I, the uh, I feel pretty good about that. that. Those would be my priorities. All right, this gentleman right here.